The WMC 250 EV is a next-generation electric motorcycle that will surpass the 400 kilometers mark. It simply has no reason not to do so. The unique aerodynamics featuring a tunnel running through the entire motorcycle have reduced the drag coefficient by nearly 70%. It stands at an incredible 0.118. This also significantly increased the front wheel's downforce, which in turn allowed for the installation of two electric motors. These motors not only provide traction, but also regenerate braking energy back into a small low-voltage battery. Another pair of engines is installed at the rear, and the total output of all four power units is 250 kilowatts, which is equivalent to 340 horsepower, which is more power than the much-talked-about Kawasaki H2R. The shape of motorcycles intended for the mass market has hardly changed since Hildebrand and Wolfmuller introduced their first production motorcycle almost in 1894. While the automotive industry has seen a significant reduction in aerodynamic drag over the past hundred years, attempts to improve the aerodynamic efficiency of motorcycles have been far less substantial. Despite the motorcycle using almost all of its energy to overcome aerodynamic drag, this area receives catastrophically little attention. And currently, there is simply no design in the world close to V-Air. V-Air is a patented, tested technology that reduces the motorcycle's aerodynamic drag by 69%. For the 250 EV, it is a laughable 0.118. For comparison, the most aerodynamic car, the Volkswagen XL1, has a drag coefficient of According to tests, the drag coefficient of the WMC 250 EV is 70% less than that of the Suzuki Hayabusa, which is considered one of the most aerodynamically advanced production motorcycles. The technology features a massive aerodynamic tunnel that runs the entire length of the motorcycle. This significantly reduces its frontal area and overall drag coefficient compared to a conventional bike design. This simple solution for increasing downforce and stability is undoubtedly the holy grail in enhancing motorcycle efficiency. No sacrifices were made for extreme riding position. The seat height of the 250 EV is the same as that of the Yamaha R6. The tunnel concept solved the problem of the rider's non-aerodynamic silhouette. The team seated the rider in full gear on the motorcycle, conducted a 3D scan, and built the bodywork around his body with an accuracy of up to 1 mm. Due to insufficient design, the front strut had to be removed and the mechanical system was replaced with hydraulics, while all other components, including the transmission, were suspended under the tunnel, creating a low center of gravity. The motorcycle has a suspension system using double swing arm. In the 100 kW model, the rear wheel has 30 kW electric motors. The front wheel has two 20 kW motors. This provides all-wheel drive and additionally regenerative braking. As a result, it allowed for the elimination of a large battery. Its capacity is only 15 kilowatt hours. The range is still unknown. But this is not so important for the WMC 250 EV, which is primarily designed to implement VR technology and set speed records. Rob White, the founder of White Motorcycles Concepts, has worked on Formula One, Le Mans, and World Endurance Championship cars as an engineer for over 25 years. He decided to apply his experience to the design of the 250 EV. And although computational fluid dynamics tests and wind tunnel measurements showed that the aerodynamic drag of the WMC 250 EV is about 70% less than that of other production road motorcycles, nothing can reveal flaws in the concept as effectively as real-world testing. The fact is that Rob plans to set records on his creation by himself. And in September of this year, he conducted another round of tests on the 250 EV, it can safely be called successful. The junior test EV motorcycle having 100 kilowatts or 136 horsepower was successfully accelerated to 273 kilometers per hour. Considering the motorcycle's 300 kilograms weight, White was very pleased with the result. We are very pleased with the progress made on the 250 EV. We were encouraged by the warm reception at the motorcycle's launch in June and the high level of interest that subsequently arose in the project. The next goal is a 250 kilowatt version, and although it is slightly weaker than the 270 kilowatt Voxen Vatman, on which former MotoGP star Max Biaggi broke 11 records last November, 
White is confident that the latest level of aerodynamics of the WMC 250 EV will more than make up for the lack of power. White's plan is to attract attention by setting a land speed record for electric vehicles exceeding 250 miles per hour or 402 kilometers per hour and to introduce the technology to the market of electric street motorcycles. To this end, he has patented the highly advanced VR tunnel technology internationally and hopes to bring something similar to the streets. We have created the most aerodynamically efficient motorcycle in the world, says White. If this is proven, the best way to do it is to go as fast as possible. We will set a world land speed record. The goal is 402 kilometers per hour, a record for a semi-streamlined electric motorcycle. This place will be the Salt Flats in Bolivia. Just recently, the company introduced a model of the new three-wheeled hybrid motorcycle WMC 300FR. The main idea of the approach, divided into two parts, upper and lower, is a special air duct. The incoming air enters the cooling system radiator through the lower opening, while the upper opening lets it flow above the rear wheel under the seat. As a result, the incoming airflow literally passing through the motorcycle encounters almost no frontal resistance. The WMC 300FR is like its predecessor, the Japanese Tri-City 300. They have the same single-cylinder gasoline engine, 300cc and 28 horsepower. However, the prototype is distinguished in particular by the presence of a 50 kilowatt electric motor. According to the company's plan, the electric drive will be engaged at low speeds. At higher speeds, the gasoline engine starts and the air duct comes into play. As a result of the hybrid system, CO2 emissions are reduced by 50% compared to a purely gasoline-powered engine. Here come the first hybrid two-wheelers. The production fate of the 300FR is still unknown. The hybrid was developed in collaboration with the Northamptonshire Police. Therefore, if it does go into production, its primary users are probably to be the police and other emergency services. Also, you know, that makes sense. Today's electric motorcycles indeed make highway riding a drag. Air resistance drains the battery so quickly that you can only watch the numbers tick down. It's no coincidence that guys like Terry Hirschner from Electric have set their distance records riding motorcycles equipped with sleek fairings. And it's actually a bit strange that there aren't many things on the market right now that prioritize aerodynamic efficiency. The WMC 250 EV is a very strange looking motorcycle, built from scratch with a design philosophy radically different from anything we've seen before. That's why it ended up here. It's the first truly interesting electric motorcycle.